The people at Fresh Friday have been so supportive through all, all my different art phases. Uh, I've always been a part of Fresh Friday. The culture at Fresh Friday is, you know, it's so fun. We go all hang out, look at different art, go and support each other, support different artists, get to know artists that come from out of town to come here because it's such a great event. I love Fresh Friday. I think it's one of the best art thing that we have going on in the Vegas area. And I'm just, I'm thrilled to get back out there. Sochil Sitlali, and um, I would describe my art into two categories. I do a lot of what I call ancestral art and also a lot of sacred geometry art. So my ancestral art is very tied into my indigeneity. Um, so my family is um, Nahuatl Otomi, Zapotec. So from southern Mexico, we're, uh, my family's indigenous to southern Mexico. So a lot of the art that I make is to really um, talk about those stories. So a lot of our history is not through text, it's through pictures. So my aim is to continue to do that, um, to tell these stories that are important to our indigenous cultures through pictures. And with my sacred geometry art, that's more of a my love with geometry. You know, I'm a big geometry math nerd, so um, sometimes I combine the two, so it's, a, it's fun. So those are the, the two categories that I, I generally dabble in, but my heart for sure is in my indigenous art and especially helping people who are not directly in their indigenous lands, who are in you know the diaspora to remember about where we come from um, during these times. I think that's very important that we remember our real identities. I've done several type of courses um, to teach people about the Tonali, which is the Aztec calendar system. There's, you know, our, our time system is within that calendar. So I've created coloring books, I've done workshops to help people learn about that information. Because, you know, it, it was important. They took 500 years to carve that into stone. You know, we can't let that information die out. I do a lot of mediums. I do primarily acrylic on canvas, but I've done clay sculpture, I've done textiles, I do, I've done very little weaving and little beading, but primarily I do acrylic on canvas. I do a little bit of mixed media through digital mixed media, uh, but primarily I do uh, sculpture and, and acrylic on canvas. I would say my oldest influence would be Jose Posada, which was around during the Mexican Revolution and is a very big inspiration to me still because his art was uh, very radical at the time of, you know, really reclaiming indigeneity when at a time it was very looked down upon. And also too, he made a big uh, point about distinguishing issues with the socioeconomic bourgeoisie class that was uprising during that time. So. He's one of my old school favorite artists. Um, more recently, I would say some of my favorite artists would be, <laughs> I'm a big lover of Alex Gray's art. And even locally, I'm a big fan of Fawn Douglas's art. She's an inspiration, not only as an artist, but like as a human being. And I would have to say Frida was also, a, Frida Kahlo was a big inspiration of mine when I was younger. In high school, I was obsessed with Frida. Um, Mi Corazón Mexica is an amazing artist who lives out in Mexico now, and he's amazing. But I mean, my ancestors and the temples they built are really my biggest inspiration. <laughs> so, uh, you know, what they were doing then with the tools that were available then is just, uh, you know, things we can't really duplicate still today. So, so when I make a sacred geometry piece, um, it's all about the frequency that that piece is going to emit. So all of my pieces, whether sacred geometry or ancestral art, are very intentional. Um, so before you even see the layer of canvas, there's already all kinds of stuff underneath that you can't see that's there um, to really make you feel something. So I want these shapes and designs to really make someone feel something. And also too with ancestral art, I want someone to come look at a piece and be like, oh wow, like just be in awe of it and ask me, what does this mean? So I can talk to them because then most of the time they can come away like, oh yeah, I, I really feel that. Um, but my biggest inspiration is when, when I meet people who are also indigenous but don't claim indigeneity. And you know, we'll come and talk about a piece and we'll just all both start bawling about how like, oh wow, this is so beautiful, you know. I love this, I was never really brought up in, the, in my culture, so like seeing this, it like reignites something 
in them, and that's what I want to see. So first Friday, I was thinking about this morning, it's a full circle moment. My very first Friday was about 12 years ago, and I was not actually part of first Friday. I just went with my table and set up my stuff, and I had little wooden boxes with Day of the Dead clay figures that I sculpted on there. And um, I met a woman from um, one of the Day of the Dead altars that are in town, and she's like, hey, you should come put up an altar. And so I did, and I won first place, and I've just really been continuing to do a lot of art because of the people I met at First Friday. Um, the people at First Friday have been so supportive through all, all my different art phases. Uh, I've always been a part of First Friday. Um, the culture at First Friday is, you know, it's so fun. We go all we'll hang out, look at different art, go and support each other, support different artists, get to know artists that come from out of town to come here because it's such a great event. Um, so I love Fresh Friday. Fresh Friday has been something that I've enjoyed since I was a teen. So being able to be the featured artist and thinking just 12 years ago to the day, I was literally just on the street trying to not have the cops see me because they used to kick us out. <laughs> so um, Fresh Friday, it means a lot to me and it, it's I'm just so, honored to have this opportunity. Um, yeah, I love Fresh Friday. I think it's one of the best art, best art thing that we have going on in the Vegas area. And I'm just, I'm thrilled to get back out there. <laughs>